What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Uruguay are the national team selection that we're going to be focusing on in this. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet lads. There's a couple of beastly players in here but for all intents and purposes if you are going to be spinning on this uh, I definitely think you're going to have to be very lucky with who you get because there are a couple of duds in here as well. I won't say duds right? I won't say duds but as of right now you know the likes of Suarez and Cavani they're just not viable enough um to warrant playing ahead of other players especially because they're on c rating whereas somebody like bentecor or uh, nunez while there might be better players than them having that a form is going to be invaluable uh, i think and especially valverde who i think is probably one of the best cards out there at the moment this guy is incredible the way you can train him up you can play him in so many different positions and i think if you spin like maybe two or three and get valverde it will definitely be 300 coins well spent if you are staying free to play and you don't want to spin any coins, you don't want to spin your use your free coins. I definitely think you should buy the standard version of Valverde. He is an absolute monster, and Nunes is a monster as well. But yeah, we're going to focus on all these cards. There is only eight here. We are going to start with Cavani, and then we're going to go over to eFootball DB and show you their maxed out levels. Look, the, the problem with Cavani and uh, Suarez is they are both very similar players and it might be an issue that they face with Uruguay in the World Cup as well in real life. They're both really good finishers in the air and on the ground, but they're just too slow, man, for Dream Team. They're just too slow. And I know pace isn't everything, but even maxed out, as you see here with Cavani, right? You're not going to be getting, you know, 75 acceleration isn't too bad, but where you have to kind of train up Cavani is for his aerial ability to be scoring headers because that's what he's kind of... That's kind of what he's going to be for. But then you have the conundrum of whether you want to have Haaland in there or even Jan Collar, who's free from the eFootball point shop. There's a lot of issues that you have with this card. The same with Suarez, right? Suarez, again, he's got 90 finishing. I love Suarez in eFootball. I loved him in PES 2021 and PES 2020 or PES 18. I think it was I played with him the most. His speed and acceleration take a hammer and he's got nice... Um, uh, kick and power physical contact and offensive awareness so he might be worth a punt but it's going to be hard to play him ahead of other strikers that you know you can get more out of now saying that i wouldn't be surprised if i see clips of suarez absolutely ripping people because he does have some incredible stats like the 90 finishing and 80 header as well as 92 offensive awareness means that his ai is going to be really really good but yeah them two boys are kind of too similar i think to get excited about now, speaking of excitement, we do have the two best players, I think, to focus on here. We've actually got three. So we're going to start with Darwin. Obviously, plays for Liverpool now. Um, kind of love him love him or hate him. He is a really good player in EU football and wavering form on A rating. He's a, he's a no-brainer, man. If you get him, max him out, and you will have an absolutely insane card with Nunes, right? When we max him out here, you will see that he's got some incredible stats. We're going to do it in real time, right? So where I would max him out is, as a center forward, I wouldn't focus too much on his shooting. You can give him maybe 85 in shooting there. You don't need to focus too much on his speed because he has got incredible speed. 90 is enough there. I would probably boost a bit up into his dribbling. If you're going to be playing him as a guy that leads the line, I would probably play him up there. I'd give him 88 in that, and then I would give him maybe one more in passing. If you wanted to add one more to shooting, you could do that, or you could add one more to dribbling to bring it up to 76. You're not going to be having Romario here. You're not going to be having Romanegi, lads, or Ben Bappe, but you are going to be having a really good player in the game that does seem to play way above his stats. He's a nice height as well, so you don't need to focus too much on the headers. Jimenez as well for Real Madrid, or for Atletico Madrid. He's a really good player, and I think he's one of the players as a centre-back that's really slept on, lads. Look at those stats. 94 aggression, 75 acceleration, 80 physical contact, 78 header, and uh, the rest of his defensive stats are all in the 90s. Like, that's insane for a player. His standard version, I think, lads, is worth looking at as well. He's got 21 uh, levels to go. This guy is slightly better. Um, obviously, he's the best version of this card out, so I think that this guy could be incredible. Blocker and interception, man-marking, unwavering form would have been absolutely insane on this card but unfortunately he does not have it that would have been really i think bringing him into the upper echelon of players if he did have uh unwavering form there so it depends what kind of a world cup he does have but yeah he's definitely one to watch one to keep an eye on you don't need to focus too much on his speed it's more about defensive uh you know the defensive side of the game and you've got that same thing as well with diego godin who is super, super slow, lads. He's as slow as molasses, but you are going to have that unwavering form. You are going to have interception and blocker, man marking and heading. You are going to have sliding tackle, captaincy, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit. An insane card, except for the acceleration, which is just a little bit too low for him to be viable using him. That is just my opinion. Like, even if you max out everything else, 
you are going to have to bump, pump up really his aerial ability and his defending if you're going to be playing him. I would, yeah, you could play him alongside a really fast player. I would like Godin actually in if I was playing a five at the back, which I usually do. I would like him in the in the in the central and then just surround him with two other really fast players because he definitely would add a lot to that back line and he looks to be a monster in defense. And he's just all, you know, look, him and Pepe and the older type players, they seem to have a bit of love shown to them by the developers of the game because they just never seem to put a foot out of place. But it's just that aware of the, the, the speed that really kind of, yeah, it makes me a little bit nervous of having him in my back line coming up against Mbappe and Neymar and Messi and the same guys like that. And then last but not least, we do have Oliveira. Well, we've one more player who's the player of the pick here. We've got Oliveira uh, who plays for Napoli. He's having a good season. He is on B form at the moment. He's got interception, aerial superiority, slide tackle. He has got early cross, but not pinpoint crossing. But yeah, he's got very, very good stats. He's just kind of your run in the middle left back. Uh, that can play uh, center back as well so not a bad player to have at all if you wanted to pair him with Goudin in, mid in the center backs you could do that and then lads lastly we do have the pick of him which is Valverde who I think is one of the best players in the game right now absolutely insane this card is ridiculous lads absolutely ridiculous right we do have different versions of his card right right off the bat we have unwavering form okay we have dipping shot, long range shooting, long range curler, acrobatic finishing, one touch pass, true pass and an interception. So he's got attacking stats, he's got shooting stats, he's got passing stats and he's got defensive stats which is insane. He must be one of the most unique player cards in the game full stop, definitely, he has to be. But I think where he really excels is just being able to have so many base level stats like he's 81 acceleration and uh 77 low pass 76 dribble and 81 stamina right off the rip like before you even before you even train him up and his standard version lads we'll have a look here right there's been a lot of versions of him. this is fifth card right his standard version goes to 32 levels but he has an 81 starting point right this card is 84 but he's got 22 levels to go okay so that is kind of the trade-off there that you have. You've got 22 levels here at 84, and with this card, you've got 32 levels. So there are um, the base cards there that you can see there. There's a nice little comparison when you hover over them. You don't need to click anything. It's a really cool feature of eFootball TV. I love it because it just means that you get to see all the players and how they rate up, rank up per card based on their actual... Um, based on their actual stats at level one, like at their core level, their base stats, uh, because you can decide then what you want to do. So even his player of the week version that they released here as a winger, right? This guy is obviously a center mid. This card here is slightly different because it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have this one player of the week is probably the best, but this card does have a lot of, a lot of really nice stats that you're talking about that this player of the week version goes to 94 overall. This guy goes to 93 overall, but this is a winger and this, this is a winger. Whereas this one that came with the pack here has got an 89 level as a center midfielder, but look how many ways you could train him up, right? You can have 89 acceleration, which as a CMF lads is, is even too high. You don't even need that realistically. Like as a CMF, if you're going to be playing him as a ball passer and stuff, he's got really nice stats there. You can pump a few more into his passing and then pump one more into his aerial strength or else you can turn him into kind of like a kind of a fake winger this guy could be a sub tactic that you start him in center mid and then you move him into right wing if you're playing a, a, a 5-3-2 instead of a 3-5-2 or vice versa you can just train him in so many different ways he's got stamina he's got a pace he's got passing he's got aggression in the tackling we've boosted up his tackling a little bit there to get that aggression up and the defensive engagement up i would definitely be using him as a box-to-box -box, literally like a kante William Barrios type of player. That's how I would be using him. I wouldn't focus too much on the passing. I would focus more on his defensive nature and just be able to be a complete pest in midfield. So that is it for the Uruguay pack, lads. I'll be back quite soon with some more gameplay coming soon and a couple of more packs as you guys are requesting them the whole time. Until next time, lads, peace.